hello guys today in this video we are going to talk about how to build topaz all right it's an ipc officer as we all know and we're gonna talk about how to build her all right topaz and numbi so let's get started so first of all topaz is a single target hunt character she follows the path of hunt and she's a fire uh, element and topaz is basically a character uh, a sub dps character okay she is a sub dps character who's a single target and she buffs follow-up attack uh, to any follow-up dps like any follow-up attack DPS you can say like Emiko or Argenti or Jingyeon, Dr. Ratio, you know anyone. So anyone who has follow-up attack you can run Popaz with her and she's pretty she's really good with the uh, FUA team especially for the follow-up attack team as we all know that Do Ratio, Robin, Aventurine and Topaz this premium team is really good. Uh, so yeah, Topaz really shines on FUA team, especially on follow-up attacking, especially on even if not, if you don't have those four characters or any of those characters that I mentioned, the FUA team, you can still run her with Himiko. I think with Himiko, she's pretty good. I run her with Himiko a lot. So yeah, we're going to talk about her and uh, yeah. So Topaz uh, on her talent, as you can see, she summons a Numbi at the start of the battle and Numbi has 80 speed. By default, she uh, Numbi has 80 speed. Nobby launches follow-up attack on a single target uh, with the proof of depth, dealing fire damage equal to total of Topaz attack. And when enemies are afflicted with that power of uh, proof of depth, uh, the ally follow-up attack uh, receives a follow-up attack, and Nobby action forward is increased by 50 So basically, in the talent, uh, as you can see, a single target. All right, single target uh, damage. Uh, so yeah. That's, that's pretty good uh, on the skill as you can see on the skill inflict single target enemy with the proof of dead increasing the damage from the follow-up attack and uh, the proof of dead only takes effect all right so the most important thing on uh, topaz is you need around 134 speed of thre uh, threshold speed and you need uh, around over 2000 plus attack and you need a crit rate around 70 plus and crit damage around 200 that will be great for the light cone i would say if you don't have uh i think for the light cone i would say this light cone is pretty good uh sleep like the dead this light cone is pretty good on uh topaz you can also use a uh, sword play i think yeah sword play is also pretty good if you don't have the signature her signature is really good because her signature uh has a debuff on on the passive that's pretty good so yeah if you don't have the signature you can run the uh, the free one or you can run the sword play either of those two will work i'm running the yangshin light cone because it gives the crit damage buff crit damage increases crit damage so i mean it's usable not really that bad but yeah for the um for the relics i would uh, suggest going for the Ash Blazing Grand Duke, the four piece. Uh, two pieces increases the follow up attack by 20%, and when the four pieces uh, it increases follow up attack, the wear increases attack by 6%, and this this stack, so it gets a total up to eight stacks and all that. So you run this four piece, it's really good on uh, her. All right. Uh, on the body piece, you can run crit rate. On the boot, you can run speed. Um, and on the ornament, you can run on the orb, you can run fire damage, and on here, you can run attack. Uh, you don't need energy regen, you can run attack on her. For the two piece, I would say going for the inter salsato is pretty good because it increases the crit rate. Plus, you get when your crit rate reaches 50%, you get additional your ultimate and your follow up attack increases by percent so that's pretty good all right 
for the idle ones i think her e1 is pretty good her e2 her e1 is pretty good i think i would say her uh idle on e1 is pretty good you can go for the e1 i highly uh, recommend going for the e1 and the light cone is pretty good as well uh her signature light cone which is uh, going to be this uh yes this light cone this light cone is pretty good because it increases the crit rate and their follow-up attack damage by 30 percent and it gets it up to two stacks so which is pretty good actually this actually gives get, uh, this the passive has a debuff on it so it's pretty good actually so i highly recommend uh pulling for the light cone if you don't have it but the one is not a big deal so yeah for the team uh for the team i would say you can run Yeah, I mean you can run Topaz with Himiko. I mean you can run with Himiko. With, you can run with Doctor Ratio, Jingyeon, any follow-up attack, especially with Doctor Ratio and Himiko. Uh, I mostly say it's pretty good. Uh, any follow-up attack, uh, DPS you can run with her, especially with the FUA team that I mentioned earlier. That's pretty good as well. So you can run her with that team com. Uh, so yeah, the best team Kong for Doctor uh, for Fu uh, for Topaz is right now in the meta, as you can see, is Doctor Ratio, uh, Robin over here, and Aventurine over here. I don't have those two, Robin and Aventurine. I have Aventurine on my U account. I I lost 50, 50 to Robin, so I don't think I will have the premium team. But at some point in the future, I will have. So yeah, so these are the team that are best for topaz at the current moment but if you don't have those characters either adventure in robin or any of those or if you're going for you can still pull uh you can still pull topaz it's not a big deal uh you can get those characters eventually in the future the game uh, they are not going anywhere but from what i have seen yes uh, i do need to mention so you can also run her with serval serval is also pretty good any follow-up attack uh dps you can run her with to uh, topaz she she gives buff she buffs them with a follow-up attack damage she increases their follow-up attack damage that's pretty insane uh you can run with her uh she, she uh, also topaz synergizes really well with asta so uh, yes i do need to mention also that topaz synergizes really well with asta so if you have asta you can pair her with uh, Topaz, Asta, and Himiko. Mono, uh, you know, mono fire, uh, mono fire team. So that's pretty insane as well. So yeah, so that's how you build Topaz. It's pretty straightforward, guys. Um, if you guys enjoy this video, please do give me a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.